When I was a girl, my mother would hand sew costumes for all six of her children every October. We've embraced this tradition with an array of inspiring ideas for homemade children's Halloween costumes. Over the years, the creative team at Martha Stewart has come up with adorable, inventive designs, from animals to superheroes. And Jody Levine, one of our most resourceful costumers, creates unique Halloween ensembles from the most basic materials, like a baby chicken assembled from two feather boas and yellow rubber gloves, a coffee filter fairy godmother gown, an authentic brown paper bag cowboy, even an exceptionally sweet sugar packet flapper costume. And to dress your little knight in shiny armor, all you need to do is visit the baking aisle at your grocery store and follow a few simple steps. And it's so easy, you just take some of these. I actually like these, fo these paper-backed cups because they just, they don't get as banged up looking, but the foil ones work as well. And actually you can cut a bunch at once. So did you half. use hot glue gun for this? Actually or... I used white glue. So as you can see, we took these little paper halves and just actually scotch tape them together in a circle. That'll fit around your child's mm -hmm. neck. And then you just glue the bias tape on. This is gonna keep them together nice and strong and it's also gonna be the way you tie your breastplate on to the child's neck. <laughs> actually it's kind of fancy. It's nice. very fancy, wow. I like that. Yeah, I love it. So then, this is where you can get your kids involved. You, you just want to build it out. Just keep adding rows. And depending on the size breastplate you want, um, you just keep adding it down and build it out there. And actually, the crown is the very same technique, but you tape them side to side. And we added those little brass paper fasteners, which are so handy. Oh, they're so handy. Just, just as a decorative touch. And then, because you don't want them to scratch your child's mm -hmm. head, we just covered them in a little bit okay. of tape. So then once you have your roll long enough, you just tape it into a crown circle. So when this dries, this will be secure. Mm -hmm. Good. And I'm going to move on to the leg and arm armor. These toaster trays I love. Depending on the size you want, you could just fold in oh, great. the edges. You okay. see that? Yeah. yeah. So you can make me another arm. That would be great. Okay. You might want to cut the top and bottom off like. So there's no them. sharp edges. Right. You fold them over, like that. And then you just staple on seam binding. Okay. Right. And it's good because it's inexpensive. You oh, don't need to use anything totally. fancy. And I, what I did is I put a little double stick tape underneath. Okay. Just easier to staple. And you can shape it. Okay. And oh, I love these mini pie tins. Oh, now what were those? Those used were for? for the knee guards. Oh, Isn't that perfect? So cute. Yeah. So just staple, staple, staple. Mm -hmm. Then the other accessories that are important are, of course, his belt yes. with his holster for his sword. So is that sword. made out of? Duct tape. Of course. We made a kind of a fabric with the duct tape just by taping the sticky side to the sticky side mm -hmm. and then made an additional strip to go over. That's the holster. And then taped that on and then just added a little bit of peel and stick Velcro for the closure. And then, of course, the sword, because what knight would be... Without a sword? Mm -hmm. It's just some corrugated cardboard that we covered in aluminum foil. And that's a pie tin. For the hand guard. Folded in half, oh. yeah. And then riveted <laughs> with more brass fasteners. I think we're all set for battle. Okay. Simple as can be. Well, thank you. I will crown you. Thank you very much. Very nice. <laughs> you're not a knight, but you're a, you're a princess. Okay. And these are great. Thanks. Thanks. Every year, I dress up for Halloween, and we asked you to select your all-time favorite costume at MarthaStewart.com. Did you go ape over me as Tarzan's Jane? Was I perfect as a scary black cat? Or hair-raising as the Gorgon Sister Medusa? I've gone from glampire to ghostly equestrian. But maybe you love me so as a creature from the wild things. Or as the Black Widow? Or perhaps as a Halloween goddess? Thousands logged on to vote, and the blue ribbon goes to the ghoulish, ghostly equestrian. I cannot mask my delight that I'm here with Brendan Fraser. Soon he'll be mummified before your very eyes. What? We didn't talk about the... Excuse me. Editorial. Mummification. What? About to happen. What? <laughs> 